Uh, well, it sounds great to us. Well, maybe maybe next time um, go to another phone, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is it. Huh? No, they assign to... it. They assign it. Yeah. Can they see Eric? Yeah, the, uh, the microphone could be a problem there, guys. Hey, can you see Eric? Can you, can you hear yeah. Yeah. You can, can you talk to us about the public defenders? Oh, uh, which public defenders? Um, uh, whatever, Norman. whatever you want to talk about, you sound very clear here. Yeah, we can hear you nice. Okay, good. Uh, uh, um, yeah, yeah. That, oh, there, oh, yeah, there you go, I'm sorry. There's Ghost. Yeah, and then we have Sovereign. Yeah, there's Bruce over there. Yeah. A boo boo. Oh, yeah, there he is. There he is. What's up, Mr. Boo? Look at me. There's Jazz. You need to put it back on Rusty a little longer. <laughs> Yeah, Brian. 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 Yeah, it won't cast either. There's a roo roo. Happy roo. Uh, that's a good roo. Yes. yes. He just had a seizure, Tom. He just had a seizure. He just had a seizure. He just had a seizure. Oh, he did? Yeah, so I, so I wrapped him up and I held him for a while. It was good. It was good. If they only knew Liberty has him on a diet. Oh my. He got a piece of paper in his bowl. Don't feed. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. What'd they do this time? Huh? We have taken care of everything that you have asked. We have it all ready for oh, court. We have, we have it ready for court <coughs> tomorrow. If you have more, call it out, and then I'll write it up yep. at the end. Yeah, I'm going to call it out here. <laughs> look up. Hey, you gotta look up. You got Yeah. He's not going to Excited about it.
to not for liability for acts committed within their judicial jurisdiction. Right. That means they don't have it for acts outside of their jurisdiction. So where doesn't he have jurisdiction? He does not have jurisdiction to order Occupy Denver out of the courthouse. Oh. You know he don't. Oh. Of course he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> or, we're not done yet with Judge Rudolph. How about Stump versus Sparkman? The factors determining whether an act by a judge is a judicial one relate to the nature of the act itself, i.e., whether it is a function normally performed by a judge and to the expectation of the parties, the parties, not the people out in the hallway, but the parties in the courtroom, whether they dealt with the judge in his judicial capacity. That is Stump versus Sparkman. Stump versus Sparkman. Got it. And then one more, one more that I think would be really good. The judges do not possess absolute immunity with respect to claims arising from the administrative, legislative, or executive functions that judges may on occasion be assigned by law to perform, like a chief judge order that bans photography in the courthouse. That is... Forrester versus White. Awesome. Forrester versus White. So I think that we should explore those in our uh, suit against Judge Rudolph and in our suit against... Um, <laughs> why are we holding our hand over the camera now? Now all I see is a hand. Oh, I'm it's sorry. It's a hand, but the lifeline doesn't look good. Okay. Whoever that is, you should probably put your affairs in order. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Here, put them on the stand. The, the the point is that put they on. we don't put them on the stand. Nobody cares what you see. They want to see your face. Yeah. They want to see my face. Yes. Yeah, but that means I'm gonna go to sentencing with a with a beard too. That's okay. That's okay. It's rough. It's aggressive. What? Can I said that's it? okay. It's it's rough. It's aggressive. It shows your personality. You'll be all right. Be aggressive for that. Um, can this one see it? Folders are on the way. So what's the deal with this? <laughs> there is. So, um, talking about tell them what's going on with the handbook
Yeah. Good enough. <laughs> that is, uh, that is Sergeant Williams. Williams has been very good if, with us in the past. He's worked with us quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> but he is the administrative sergeant. He wants me to pay $12.50 for a copy of the inmate handbook as a criminal justice <clears throat> So his phone number is 303 303- Phone number again? generation focus but yeah on the original one it does <laughs> Texas. red tape you'd, you'd succeed in the end anyways that's right oh yeah yeah and besides if i don't have a license i can't get sanctioned <laughs> <laughs> and you can still paralegal wow. I, I could work under an attorney for sure right yes i yep. could just be like a perpetual intern we can't hear you unless you come back yes you would be able to what forever paralegal say? You'd be the best paralegal ever, right? Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah! So, uh, yeah, that's all I have today. Uh, uh, um, let's see. Uh, Scott Poland came to visit me today. Yeah, right out here on a visit. Oh shit. Apparently, I have an attorney visit right now that just called in. So, uh, 
that I'm about to have in a treatment. Scott Poland came to visit me today, right. uh, but he had to leave. He was going to show me our videos from the flashlight incident. Yeah. But his uh, granddaughter called him and reminded him that he was supposed to come pick her up from school. <laughs> <laughs> so he had to bounce. And apparently I have an attorney that's here to visit me right now. But um, so I guess that I hope that he waits. I don't know who it's going to be. We had submitted a motion to disqualify Judge Munch uh, because his career was actually in this courthouse. But um, I, we're going to withdraw that motion tomorrow morning. Oh, great. Because he, he's actually a pretty fair judge. His, uh, his, 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 my lawyer thinks that he's a good judge, so we're going to withdraw that motion. He did do one uh, thing. Were you able to get a hold of Holly? Not yet. Munch, not yet. Not yet. Munch did one thing that wasn't good. I'll try again after, uh, I guess after my attorney visit. I don't know which attorney it is, but, um. Right. Can we lay a message for all I know. Yeah, please, hurry. So, hey, Eric. What is it? Um. You'll have to tell him. Yeah, you have, have to tell, tell him. Oh, uh, somebody's sending him a book. Somebody's sending you a book. I'm a practicing piano. Oh, is it a dictionary? Uh, I don't know what it is. He, he needs a dictionary, everyone. If, uh, if somebody would I, I need a good, high-quality, large dictionary that gives me good, because I, you know, legal terms, though, I may need to, uh... Hey, you need any legal books I got? Yeah, can only come from the manufacturer. Let's say. From the publisher. Or, like, like Amazon. You can send one from Amazon. Or Barnes um, & Noble. You cannot send the anarchist cookbook. <laughs> like but well, we can send you Black's Law, Black Law, uh, Black's Law Dictionary. Oh, it is. I said, I said, legal, a legal dictionary or a regular dictionary. Legal. Black's Law Dictionary is about that thick, and it's a, as far as I know, it's a, it's a hardbound. You can't send a hardbound book. Must be paper bound. It must be paper bound, and uh, if it's legal, it's, I'm uh, sure it's more I beneficial to him. So uh, Matt Kelland is here to visit me. Um, that's the felony attorney here in, in uh, Jefferson County. Yes. Uh, considering the the, uh, the veterans folks that uh, are working with us the second week they come here and talk to me, uh, it's looking like it might be in best interest for us to seek a global disposition in order for me to get into a veterans court so that I can uh, hopefully get that law degree, huh, guys? Yeah. That'll be amazing, dude. Go for that. Oh my God, yes. You think that would be good for us? That would be amazing. amazing. Imagine what that would do to survive bad cops. Yeah. Yeah, so, so we'll see how those terrain close. Um, yeah. I don't get a lot of new news in here. We had pancakes for breakfast again. They were more like oversized potato chips. <laughs> Tomorrow at 3.30, right? What? Will you be available tomorrow at 3.30? Where do you think he's going? Presumptively. I thought you had another business scheduled, yes. All right. All right. We just wanted to make sure, you know, uh, didn't want you to think we forgot about you, man. We wanted to get some visits in. make sure I don't have a program tomorrow. Hold on. Yeah, that's why I'm asking if, I mean, even though you're in there, you're he's still busy, there. man. I know where he's at. <laughs> I, uh, I watched him walk away. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, got Toastmasters tomorrow He's afternoon. Got, I don't know how many uh, three. So tomorrow, if I, if I do my visit at 3.30, I'll be missing the Bible study. I mean, <laughs> oh, man. Good for you. you do come visit me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know your, uh, your reverend needs a visit as well. I just signed up again today. I contacted yeah, I, him. I could use a spiritual uplift. Well, she uh, signed up again today. Would be nice. Yep, she signed up today, um, so we'll see. Yeah. Uh, oh, so one of the great perks that we get here on this here is uh, oh, is 
Ah! You, turn it on. you got a tablet! Oh, what the hell? Oh, it looks like it's rebooting itself. Yeah, you get the free one. like a bad uh, technical support phone call. Your system will be rebooting itself in just 35 seconds. So, um, <laughs> so you, can, you can order music on here. It's like two bucks a piece. Uh, but it comes directly off your phone account. So if somebody were to be generous enough, donate a few dollars uh, on my specifically on the phone account and not on my commentary account then I could use that money to purchase a few select pieces of good classical music that I enjoy. Oh, you want some classical music? We were, oh, here. Oh, here. Oh, here. We were talking about sending you some snap us. That we have a podcast. Oh my god, he's got everything on there. YouTube? Uh, radio, which, by the way, the television Podcast, is radio. Ah, right there. Over that. Over. Right there. That they have TVs. Uh, they tune into a radio so that it's quieter on the pod. Also, um, you. Oh, shoot. Uh, the other one on here was the law library. Oh, I gotta put my password in. Password in. I don't know why it rebooted. Password is fuck that. But uh, it also has a law library on it, so that's why I've been doing a lot more um, progress on our legal paperwork, right? Because I don't have all you people distracting me all day. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. I got a. Oh, yeah. I got a book the other day, Introduction to Constitutional Law. Oh really? Yeah. There we go. There's the law library. Wow. So you can make phone calls for this too, but they're really shitty quality, I found. They're really terrible. Who are you calling from your tablet? The, the phone calls on here. 1 800 phone sex. Oh, shit. He's calling Goofy. Uh, the you guys will be sending in the lawsuit that I just filed the other day against Guzman because I have to rewrite it. I already know that they're going to reject it, but I needed to get it filed for trial. Um, and we need to make sure that uh, at, the, uh, at the trespassing trial that we have that. We have a process server available for that. Please. We'll and, see. Uh, we'll get the, the redo of the Garrick Nani lawsuit tomorrow. I won't have the uh, or, yeah, tomorrow. I won't have the the uh, Inglewood one ready, but I might have it ready by Thursday. But probably not. I'll probably have to send that one in. Five. So. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, we got just a couple of minutes left. Yeah. Um. I would say uh, I've got a lawyer that's here to visit me, so if we don't have anything super new, I should probably not make him sit in that box. Oh, but, for uh, sure. Thank you guys for the support. And uh, thanks for putting money on my buddy's book back there somewhere. His house is right behind the stairs. All right. Well, hey, who's Gabriel's son? So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just set the phone down here, and I'll go tell him to come wave thank you on a... Uh, on the camera, huh? Paul Castaway's Wait, family uh, member. Who was that? What? Paul Castaway. <laughs> oh, uh, where's Seneca? Seneca. Seneca. Thank you. Seneca. Thank you. This is Red Fawn's brother. He's coming. Oh, wow. You want to come over here and see this? This is Red Fawn's brother right here. Janice. Seneca Williams is his name. What is Bob? Seneca. 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 Seneca
Can you see him? Is that right or no? <laughs> I'm missing you so much. Yeah. 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 He thinks he might have heard you. No, it doesn't even sound like you. Yeah, he's in another world. Love you. Love you too. Love you too. Bye, man. babe. There you go. Oh. <laughs> so that was ten dollars.